really makes the students think about where their food and fibres are coming from. They actually give you some websites to start off with and give you some directions on where to go and that's fantastic. So most of the legwork's already done for the teachers. We've just got to get in and just make it as interesting as possible and get the students like, involved in it. Year nines are really interested of, from paddock to plate. They want to know everything. Once they realise what we were doing, they were actually really excited because we weren't just focusing on here or just in South Australia or just in the states of Australia. It was actually focusing on um, right around the world. It gives you something to really think about something different rather than just being the same old thing of, okay, it's chickens and it's, you know, and it's beef cattle. This is actually, you know, you're looking at not just Australia, but you're looking at all the different countries, what comes from where and why it is and so I suppose the discussion that we've had with like I've just had with the year nines is fruit and vegetable you know and I started asking the questions you know where does the nuts come from you know where does oranges come from at the moment and um, it's been surprising for them where, where they have come from. The students attitudes have changed when they have found out like where different fruits and vegetables or even their clothing is coming from and so, and they've actually been going home and if they're going to the shops and that, they actually go and compare prices and compare where the products are coming from, what they look like, are they the same, are they the same size, do they smell the same? And so they've been coming back and they'll be like, oh, miss, oranges from California don't look so good. Like, they, you know, they're a different coloured orange compared to the ones here and from the Riverland and... Yeah, so that it, they are noticing those different things and, and they realise that it is really important to, to focus on what we have here. And we've been talking about different companies that produce like pickles and that, that are, are been close to going broke. And they're saying, oh, you know, actually if we buy Australian, then we're not going to lose these companies. So that, that's been really, really good. As I'm going along, it's giving me more and more confidence. And it's also, um, again, looking at things that I might not necessarily know about or have limited knowledge and so that's actually widening my knowledge base as well. It's amazing the questions that they are asking. They bounce ideas off of one another as well as myself and, and then I'm bouncing ideas and, um, and questioning their knowledge and, and so at this stage that's, that's been really interesting. You know, why do we grow wool here but we don't process it here in Australia and buy just you know, Australian, you know, why do we send it overseas and then buy from those countries? Why doesn't Australia make their own? So that's really um, testing them and yeah, it's really good. We talked about quality control and how um, Australia has um, strict quarantine conditions and strict, strict quality controls. We've been doing classroom discussions and we've been brainstorming and writing it down on the board. We've started watching some videos about it. Uh, we're about to go into the maps. Then we're going to do some research and then they will just be given the choice of what they want to research, where they want to go in the world and they need to show the pathway of what they're researching about. So it might be cotton for our clothing. Where does, does it come from? I've already given them some ideas that they like, they need to start doing some research about a particular um, item that they're interested in and so they're already going for that. So it's really important for students to be able to control what they're doing. Um, that way they're interested in it and they're going to put as much effort in um, to, what, to the research. If you give them the opportunity, um, it, it's really interesting to see uh, what they produce at the end.